Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. A little while back I made a video about comparing different free CAD software and in the comments many people suggested that I should try Onshape and why wasn't Onshape in there? So today what I did was I sat down on the computer, took some time and looked at Onshape. I went quite in depth, created an account, uh, looked around in the program, tried to do different things, watched some tutorials and designed some stuff. So now I feel like I can accurately compare what Onshape can do compared to what I'm now using which is Fusion 360. Now both software can be had for free. Onshape has the public version where you can create your account and use it for free for forever and use all the features. The only drawback is that all your designs you will create are accessible public. So anyone on the internet can access your designs. So if you're planning to make the next great invention that makes you millions, maybe you want to go for the professional plan, which has private options as well. Now, if you give the design like funky names and you don't say anywhere that you made these designs, the chance that someone actually finds it and uses it isn't that big. But still, your designs are just openly usable by anyone. Of course, they can't make changes to your design unless you allow them to, but they can just use it. Now, Fusion used to have a license for hobbyists, but they sadly did away with that, but they still have the student license. So if you are a student, it's very easy to just register with that and you will get the software for free. And I just tried earlier if you can just register for any school with a fake name and it didn't block me right away so if you don't mind being more morally not on the highest ground then you could try that but maybe they check that in the background and they will block your account later. And of course that's all on you and I didn't recommend that to you. So if you don't want to do the student version then Fusion 360 isn't for you anyways because Unless you have a business, you probably don't want to pay the monthly subscription. Also, both programs are very attached to the cloud. So if you're rather old school and you don't like the cloud, then you probably have to stay away from both of them. But Onshape is special as in it's completely on your browser. It doesn't require a desktop client at all, so you can go up to any computer, any browser and just use the program there. Fusion, on the other hand, you need to download a desktop client, which is well, medium sized, not that big of a program, but not like super small either. But the file management still is up in the cloud, so you can access your files from anywhere, but you need to install the client before you can make changes to your design. And feature wise, both of them have a lot of features. Especially with Onshape, I was very surprised. Being a program that's just running in your browser, it is crazy feature rich. There are like a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you can use. There are like all the features that I usually use in Fusion, I found in Onshape as well. So it is a tool that can be easily used for professional use as well, not just designing some little thing you want to 3D print, but also like designing a 3D printer or a CNC machine. You could easily do that within that program. Now Fusion does have a few things that Onshape doesn't have like rendering or simulation or more advanced stuff like that. But on Onshape, you have the app store from Onshape where you can add all that functionality back in. Some of those apps are free, others are paid, but with the free ones, what I found is like, they are very limiting. Like the rendering program, you can only do like 720p renders. You can only do certain quality. You can only do a certain amount of them per month unless you pay more money and then you're paying money again and you don't want that really. So their Onshape maybe is a little bit more limiting, but most of these features you're never gonna touch. Like high-end temperature simulation or stress simulation, you're probably not gonna use those ever, so you won't be missing them. What's very important as well for a beginner is the tutorials. And both of the services have very great tutorials made by them themselves and there are many third-party tutorials for both of them on YouTube as well. So getting started is easy with both of them. Maybe Onshape is ever so slightly easier to learn, but Fusion isn't that hard either. You just gotta watch some tutorials, learn how the programs work. And switching in between them was very easy as 
many of the features function very, very similarly. So now the final question. Is this the greatest online CAD program ever? Yes, definitely. I was blown away about what you can do inside of a browser and for the time being Onshape definitely is the best in-browser CAD program. And then for me the even bigger question, will it replace Fusion for me? And I have to say that it probably won't, but not because it's a bad program, more because I'm just invested in Fusion, I know every little detail about Fusion and have it on my, all my computers, all my designs are in there. So switching over to Onshape is a bit of a pain and there are the few features like a rendering that I'm kind of missing on there. But if I was just starting out and didn't use Fusion before, I would probably go with Onshape. That's what I recommend to you as well. Onshape is a very great tool and for free it's just amazing. So that's it for this video. If you have any other programs or things you want me to compare, leave them down in the comments and make sure to hit that like button to show me that you like this video and also hit the subscribe button to see all my future videos. I also have affiliate links down below that you can use when you do your holiday shopping. They don't cost you any money but they do help me out very much. So thanks for watching and until next time.